Are you in the mood for a delicious, cheesy, and savory meal that will satisfy your taste buds? Then look no further, because today on the Stay at Home Chef, I'm showing you how to make easy, cheesy quesadillas. This recipe is simple, yet it's bursting with flavor. To start, you're going to need a medium to large size tortillas, make sure they're flour, two cups of cooked and shredded chicken, or just cubed up. I love using leftover grilled chicken or rotisserie chicken, whatever works for you. I'm also going to show you some other proteins. And then of course you need shredded cheddar cheese, and there's plenty of cheeses out there. I love to use Monterey Jack, you could use Pepper Jack, or a simple cheddar cheese. What is your favorite cheese for a quesadilla? And don't say American cheese. I mean, if you wanna use American cheese, that's okay-ish, but I'm gonna judge you. <laughs> I also like to add just a little bit of salsa to my quesadillas, but that is it, and now it's time to cook them. Let's head to the stove. To cook these, I'm gonna turn my stove onto medium heat and use a large skillet. I like to add about one tablespoon of butter to the pan, and let that get melted. You could also use your favorite oil. You just need a good fat. Once that butter's melted, go ahead and place that tortilla right on top of it. Then I'm gonna place about a half a cup of cheese on that entire tortilla, edge to edge. Then I'm gonna place about half a cup of that cooked chicken on half of the tortilla, and then about a tablespoon of salsa on that other half. If you wanna add on any other vegetables, just sprinkle those right on top. I love sauteed onions and bell peppers. Those are so delicious. Let that cheese melt for about three minutes and then fold that in half. That is looking perfect. Once both sides are browned to your liking and the cheese is melted thoroughly, go ahead and remove that from the skillet and repeat with those remaining tortillas. Cut those into wedges and serve them up with sour cream, guacamole, and salsa on the side. However you decide to stuff them or top them, enjoy them. Thanks for watching. You can find the full written recipe in the video description below. Be sure to check out thestayathomechef.com where you can find hundreds of restaurant quality recipes you can easily make at home. We'll see you later.